Hey, what's up guys? Today's Q&A is about an odd impedance. All right guys, so like the intro said, here's the question and this is uh, from Nick from Facebook. What kind of amp do I use if I have an odd ohm load? An odd ohm load. So, uh, well, I guess it depends on what you consider an odd load. Um, this kind of question typically winds up coming up when you look at like a JLW7 and they've got dual, you know, 1.5 ohm coils. And, uh, you know, regardless if you wire in series or parallel, you're either getting a, a 3 ohm final impedance or a, a 0.75 final impedance. And so it really boils down to uh, how much power you really need. Most amplifiers, unfortunately, typically only rate their power at four, two, and one. That doesn't mean if you have a uh, three ohm impedance that it won't work or a 0.75, but it depends on if that amplifier is stable at that, of course, you have to be within that range. All right, so here's a quick example for you. We got this dual four ohm uh, woofer uh, wired down uh, to a two ohm final impedance, and uh, we take our multimeter here, and you can see that we're getting 1.4 ohms. And so this, this is pretty typical of most woofers. Uh, like right now it's saying 1.6, but Brennan's got the fan on, so. Uh, since the woofer is sensitive, it's going to move and fluctuate a little bit. You never want to measure the impedance outside when it's windy, uh, by the way. So that might be your odd load there. Um, <laughs> did you just bring that scenario because you remember that one time when I did that at Town Man? I don't remember that. I measured uh, two 12W6s outside and it was windy. And I was like, dude, they're, they're going to be blowing. They're going up and down. They're going fluctuating up and down. And you're like, idiot, bring it inside. <laughs> See, everybody sucks at one point in their life. Yeah, Brendan, <laughs> Brendan had to learn at one time. Yeah. So, but no, it's Don't true. work out in the wind. Yeah, so like, as you can see, it's fluctuating. If I blow on the woofer, did it move? Did it? I don't yeah, know. Man. Okay, cool, so it moved. So that's the case, if you're like moving around your sub box while trying to meter your woofer, it's gonna be going all over the place. And what Alan said, even if it's 1.5, 1.8, 2.3, it doesn't matter. If your amp's two ohm stable or even one ohm stable, it'll be perfectly fine running that woofer never going to be on the money and, exactly and what you'll also find out too is once the woofer actually breaks in it's and you actually easy, go easy. to re-measure the impedance of the speaker itself it's going to probably change again as well all right guys just to sum it up uh you know when you have a, a woofer or a speaker no matter what it is even if you took two of the same manufacturer 10s or 12s or 15s or whatever and you connected it to your multimeter you'll definitely find there's going to be a variance in the final impedance just due to manufacturing uh, processes. Not only that, but just because an amplifier says it's four, two, or one ohm stable doesn't mean that it won't play at three or one and a half, etc., or eight ohms. Uh, obviously, the lower the impedance, the more power you're going to get out of the amplifier, the less impedance. Uh, the less power and so where your amplifier is probably not going to tell you what it's going to put out at 3 ohms or 1.5 You're still going to know that you're going to be kind of in the middle between 1 and 2 So you can kind of probably use a calculator on your phone and kind of get a rough idea, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna leave you with uh, Comment below. I want to know what uh, Amplifier you might have or you're choosing or whatever woofer you may have as well like always, thanks for watching, subscribe so you can watch more videos like this, smash the like button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.